Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel Intuitive Envisions 1111. This is going to be a general horoscope reading for water sign Pisces for the end of July into mid-August 2019. Um, again, this is a general reading so it may not resonate with everyone. I do offer personal readings. My information is below with the link to my site intuitiveenvisions.com. I do have a special going on um, for readings as low as $30 um, through the end of the month if you're interested. And I'm able to do uh, readings right now between 24 to 48 hours, provided I have all the information and you confirm um, the correct email and everything, okay? All right, so let's get into um, the reading. Uh, first, I, I wanna say uh, thank you guys for liking commenting and sharing I really appreciate it and thank you for subscribing to the channel um, when I refer to um, divine masculine or, or divine feminine I'm referring to energies and not a specific gender so you can be a, a female and be a divine masculine also I'll be using he she or or they or that person that could be you or the person you're thinking about so basically this reading can work vice versa Okay, so I'm using the Romance Angel Oracle cards, the Fin de Siecla, uh, I think that's how I say it, <laughs> Kipper cards, the Fortune Telling deck, and um, I'll be using the Celtic Tarot and the uh, Gilded Tarot, and then at the end I'll be using the Crystal Mandala Oracle, okay? So first, Pisces, I'm going to get your general energy. So we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I'm going to place the cards down first and then I'll get into the reading. And at the bottom we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And now for the Kipper cards. We have high honor. At the bottom, we have mature woman. Now let's see what is the general energy representing you, Pisces, through this uh, period. We have the Ten of Caldrons, which is the Ten of Cups. Now I'm going to see why these cards are here. Why is the High Honor card here? Two of Wands, why is the Ten of Cups here, Ace of Swords, why is the Traction card here, the Tower, I'm going to clarify these cards as well before I get into the reading. So what's going on in the outside world, inner world, blockage, blockage or challenge. Knight of Swords. Three of Pentacles. The world, the 
that's coming in. Thoughts in the mind and heart. Page of Pinnacles. Move that over just to make sure you can see it a little bit. Eight of Swords. Eight of Cups. And for action. Oh, that one flipped over. Okay, actually two flipped over. Uh, Queen of Swords and the Sun. And then the bottom is the overall on the two. Queen of Pinnacles. Clarify these cards. Clarifying the two of one. of sorts equilibrium which is temperance clarifying the tower page of cauldrons which is the page of cups clarifying the knight of swords Page of Wands, clarifying the Three of Pinnacles. Oops, do that again. Didn't go right. Queen of Shields. Clarifying the world. Five of Caldrons. Clarifying the Page of Pinnacles. Strength. Also, the Queen of Shields is the Queen of Pinnacles. Clarifying the Eight of Swords. The Moon. Clarifying the Eight of Cups. Seven of Cauldrons, which is the Seven of Cups. And then clarifying the Queen of Swords and the Sun card for the action taken. Wheel of Fortune. Bottom overall, the Fool. So let's get into the energy for you, Pisces. All right. So the energy surrounding you, um, high honor, is about being respectful, a salute. Um, also, to me, it indicates, because this is done like at funerals and things like that, with um, military um, as a out of respect. So the energy around you is like a farewell um uh, respectful maybe it's you or the person you're thinking about is um being respectful towards you in some kind of a way also i feel like there's some type of ending here indicated with this salute situation um attraction this is um you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully uh you could be attracting um 
either the person you're thinking about or a new love coming your way. Um, the energy that you're in is the Ten of Cups, which is about happiness, um, wanting the happy, happily ever after type of feeling, uh, family, um, emotional um, feelings. And then at the bottom, you have worth waiting for of this romance angel card. So divine time is at work in your love life. Um, maybe there's something that some somebody that you are not with or want to be with or they you and you feel like they're worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at work in your life. So it's all a matter of timing um, for you to get whatever you are wanting. And then also we here we have at the bottom uh, it says mature mature woman um, you might uh, have learned from some type of experience that you went through because um, this is about you know being wiser being older and um, she's well you know she's taking care of or she take care of herself she's in her house um, you know sitting and just kind of like calm and relaxed so I feel like this is a more of a mature energy I also feel like you're off onto some type of new journey with this overall energy here at the bottom with the fool because this is about a leap of faith into like new things starting over and then also I feel like with this queen of uh, Pentacles uh, you could be focused on your money your stability your success um, things of that nature on the material world and let's see why these um, are here okay okay so under high honor you've got the two of wands and then you have the world card world card clarifying it so I'm definitely feeling there's an ending there's a, a new chapter because um, she's pointing over to this there's an, a new path this is about decisions it's about uh, pathway it also can indicate partnership so I feel like there something came to an end either you no longer are at a crossroads or a partnership has um, ended um, for the reason why this high honor is here because the world is about closing chapters and and uh, you know starting new I'm trying to master this card pick up okay all right so under attraction you have <clears throat> you have this card ace of swords and then you have equilibrium temperance clarifying the ace of swords so you are wanting i feel like this attraction is you are wanting truth and um victory uh maybe you're um there's some type of uh lies or i can't really say any nicer than there was some kind of lies or something and you going towards your truth so you're attracting or wanting to attract somebody that is truthful um, this indicates a victory over um, and the temperance is here to balance some type of truth some mental clarity uh, it's a balanced action and, and, and balanced emotion so this is like an angelic help I'm here to try to get you to have um, to balance out uh, mental clarity and, and victory this also indicates um, new beginnings Cards are a little messed up. I think I put these in the wrong space anyway. Put this back. Because <laughs> this is, I have to re, I just realized I messed that part up again. So I have to re say this because this was under the happy card. Okay. So if I can pick these cards up, it would be like wonderful. Okay. So just scratch what I just said because I flipped the card um, this was under happiness okay so this is um, this card was over here and I moved it for some reason I don't know maybe that was a message for somebody else 
um, I like to say there's no accidents. <laughs> um, okay, so we have you here as a Ten of Cups in this energy, and under you have the uh, Ace of Swords with the, uh, the Temperance card clarifying this. So you're wanting um, balance, action, and emotion towards truth. Like you're wanting truth and clarity. Uh, maybe you had uh, a situation involving family where you there was some type of untruth and you needed to uh, get the truth and so you're seeking uh, a happy ending for yourself that is balanced in action and emotion towards truth and again this is about brand new beginning so this is the energy that you're in you're about truthfulness and balance action and emotion you and search for that happily ever after feeling that's what you're into here and then under here for some reason I don't know why I moved it over there you have attraction and then this is um the tower was under here so the tower is about false beliefs and destruction and things like that okay that just get you back in touch with reality and then you have the page of cauldrons which is the page of cups and so I feel like this is like a new love offer there's um, someone maybe out of the blue um, offering you um, some type of uh, love because it's under here under the attraction maybe you just didn't expect it or you didn't believe it um, this also will be for some of you rejecting uh, some type of a, a love offer with this tower uh, because the tower does weight over more precedence over um, the minor arcana so maybe you um, for some of you might have rejected this offer or uh, this offer wasn't taken well okay and then for the out the outer world you have the knight of swords okay which is about the truth so there, there's some un, there's some lies somehow mixed in here some truth came out and um the knight of swords is about a chaotic situation but he brings the truth okay so this is on um, page of wands so this also indicates usually good news or some type of action but the truth of the matter uh, in the outside world came out and revealed some news to you really quickly also you for some of you could be waiting for some type of truth some type of news to, to get some type of news um, involving the truth that's what I'm I'm sensing here okay and as for your inner world So you have the three of pinnacles okay so this is about um, teamwork it's about building it's about skilled work and you have the queen of shields clarifying the three of the three of pinnacles okay so I feel like in your inner world you're focused on your money because both of these images in here they're both um, they're you're holding on to the coin and then he's holding on to um, the pinnacle over here as well so I feel like your focus is on the material world of getting your money somehow, maybe career or work work related. Um, that all, this also could involve an earth sign, um, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. But I feel that that's where your focus is on is stability for yourself, your financial situation. That's where your primary focus is right now in your inner world. And then what's the block blockage or challenge? Um, you have the world card, okay? Which again is about a new chapter and there's definitely, there's two of these in here. There's two world cards. So there's definitely something came to an end. Either a relationship, uh, a job, you know, something with a family member or uh, anything that just was no longer serving you because we have the five of caldrons clarifying the world so I feel like this phase is um, this is a new chapter of possibly for some of you uh, feeling um, sad 
Um, this is, could be like a sad and this could be a, a apology. So, cause there is a page of cups here as well. And this could be, I'm sensing some of you are like not accepting apologies anymore or a sadness, like you're done with that. You're on to the next thing, whatever that made you upset. You're no longer accepting apologies. You're over it because you have the tower here and the world card and the world card is here twice. So I feel like um, for a lot of you, this is the end of you uh, being sad or end of you um, accepting apologies. Like you're, you're just done with it. So I feel like this may be if something that's happened multiple times. Okay, so what's coming in for you? You got the page of pentacles. Again, more earth energy. Um, this is about news. This is about learning. Um, you got the strength card clarifying this. So I feel like this is like baby steps towards you being strong and having a lot of courage and a lot of um, uh, strength. Um, you could be dealing with the Leo um, in this situation. Doesn't necessarily mean so, but this is the Leo card or it could have it in your chart. So I feel like there's some type of news, maybe financial news, is making you feel strong, making you feel um, good. So what's going on in your thoughts or the person's thoughts that you're thinking about? Um, you have the Eight of Swords. This is about being trapped, okay? Feeling trapped, unable to move, even though in reality you can. And then it's clarified by the moon. So there is fear. Um, this is also your sign, Pis Pisces. So you're feeling trapped. Um, you're feeling um, a lot of fear. Um, I'm not sure completely what about. Maybe it's about new beginnings or maybe your situation. Um, or if you're going to have this uh, happily ever after ending. Um, there could be, there's a lot of reasons why this uh, fear card be could be here. But... I feel like um, that's what's going on through your head um, or the other person could be feeling trapped by you, okay? All right, so in the heart space, we have the Eight of Cups. Um, and uh, you have the seven of uh, caldrons, which is seven of cups, clarifying it. So there is um, a little bit of a progression, but in, in a backwards kind of a way. So you're walking away from the emotional aspect. Like I feel like you or the person you're thinking about in the heart space, they're they're you or them are done. Like you're walking away. You're you leaving it even though you may have some feelings for this person you're over it i feel like there's some type of hurt some type of truth that came to light um that you're just you're, you're done with it and you're looking towards for your options okay your options towards the future of what you you want okay and then we have the action we have the uh queen of swords um, this could be you, the person you're thinking about. And then we have the sun here. And then the wheel of fortune um, clarifying these two cards. So the queen of swords is about cutting things off. It's also about communicating. And um, so I feel like the action that I feel like this is you. You're in this queen of swords energy. Is that you're going to clearly communicate exactly what you want and what you expect for towards your happiness um, for the, the future with this uh, will of fortune um, fate um, and destiny as well um, this could have to do with money for some of you too because there is a lot of uh, earth energy and the focus on the, the coin or the pinnacle so you might be in this this energy of yeah, going towards, I feel like it's more towards your happiness. This Queen of Swords is also can be someone that is divorced. Um, we do have that High Honor 21, uh, that Salute there card that indicates some type of ending. So maybe you, um, this is what you want to do. This also can 
in, indicate ending of cycles to start a new beginning so I feel like that's what you're going to do you're going to go towards your um, happiness and um, yeah close the cycle on a situation that's just no longer serving you you or the person you're thinking about okay so let's go ahead and get the uh, advice or message from spirit from you for you and the crystal mandala oracle Okay, and we have Karmic Grace, 19 Ascendant Master, Seraphis Bay, and Clear Calcite. I'm going to read that in just a second. Um, I'm just going to see what's on the bottom. 49 Goddess, Maya, and Ruby, or a Court Searing Presence. Okay, I feel like that has something to do with the uh, Queen of Swords there. Okay. So let me just go ahead and read this one real quick. Number 19, let me find it in the book. Okay. So just off the bat, just before I even read it, I feel like this has to do with a karmic situation that you might have been in what you thought was a soulmate connection, but which was um, could have been actually a karmic Um situation anyway that's just what i'm picking up could be could be not so let me read this 19 ascendant master seraphis bay and clear calcite karmic grace we bring you the blessing blessing of karmic grace there are many ways to learn and grow some ways are joyful and some more challenging sometimes a challenge can best be resolved through profound struggle that forces you to transform in such a way that you can never go back to what has been. The struggle might have been deeply painful for the mind, body, and emotions, and yet what is gained from that experience is a multiplicity of blessings, personal power, freedom, insight, self-respect, and wisdom. These qualities then help you live a better life where that past pain need not be repeated. Blessings can at other times be gained through joyful experience. Sometimes the struggle is what we is what will bring you the greatest spiritual progress. Sometimes a more joyful path will be how you grow best. The universe loves you with such passion that you shall never be denied what you, uh, what you most need and what shall help you fulfill your divine destiny. Okay, so this is saying that you've gone through some type of painful experience and it's actually going to make you stronger even though you can't feel it. Uh, or you may not see it right now, but you're leaving all this pain that you went through in the past with clearly with this five of cups presence and the eight of cups here um, as well and the eight of swords um, here and the, the ace of swords. So there's a lot of and, and the knight of swords. There's a lot of uh, mental aspects that uh, went on a lot of um, energy that you separate yourself from but you're gonna you have divine protection is what they're saying okay and i think it's all about like divine timing with the wheel of fortune here it's saying it's at work uh that you're in your love life and um so i feel that that's what this is about okay all right so i hope that resonated with you and if it did please uh like comment or share if you're new watching the channel, please subscribe. Um, again, I do offer personal readings. If you want me to take a look in your personal situation, information is below. I want to um, thank you all so very much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.